So if you go deeper into that, then you can see that is it genetics? You know, is the makeup my body? My body enjoys processing eggs in the morning easier than fruits or fruits easier than eggs, something like that. So, but okay, now I go back to my genetics. And also I can look back at my conditioning that, you know, with what parents I grew up with, in what region of the world I grew up, you know, whether it's culture is having eggs in it or not, or it's in a culture that, you know, parents get up in the morning and they're eating fruits. So, okay, that's another, you know, we go deeper back and then, and then you go deeper and deeper and, and you go more into the roots of it that even those desires, where do they come from? Where is the very source of those desires that are coming from? Was, where is, how did they get implemented in me? And where was the very source of my genetics? How did that come to be? Where is the source of my parents' uh, conditionings where did that come from so you just go deeper and deeper and deeper and as you're going deeper to the very source of it you you realize that here is the very source here but then it starts expanding into all kinds of different forms and ways is this making any sense or i made you more confused uh, I'm not sure it's the answer of my question. Maybe I understand it later. Right. Okay. So, but you're saying that free will, now you're talking about free will versus whether everything is written, correct? Yeah, of course. I don't believe everything is written, but I'm thinking like mm, some, maybe some, uh, some things are already planned for but I don't think like every detail, of course, but I'm then thinking maybe I can make a choice to go another way. Right. For divine planning. Is it possible? Well, well, when you make a choice, where is this desire come to make, you know, I go left or I go right. Correct. So, yeah. so where is the desire to go right or you, you choose to go left? So where does that desire come from? Where does that choice come from? That feeling that I need to go in this direction. Where is the source of that? You know, something is this inspiring you from within to go left. And where is the source of that? What is it that inspires you to go left? Okay, maybe I understand now what you mean. Right, exactly. That's right. It, it appears, it looks like you're making that choice based on the highest level of intelligence available to you. Right? I, I've used this example, for, for instance, you choose to marry somebody. You, you meet a, a gentleman that you like and you decide marrying this person and starting a life with. Fair enough. And when you're entering into this partnership with this, with this man, what, what is your intention? When you enter into a partnership with a man, whether you like men or women, I mean, I'm using man and woman as a metaphor, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so what, what is our intention normally? You know, if you enter into a partnership with a man, what is your intention? Can you, can you tell me that? Um, yeah, of course, if I do, so it's, uh, of course, love and uh, like... Like a friend or like those kind of things. Happy, satisfactory life, correct? Yeah. You're, you're entering into a partnership with a man 
because you you're assuming you're 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 hoping you want this is going to be a happy life we're going to be together there's going to be love there's going to be joy there's going to be fun correct there's going to be respect we're going to grow together correct you're not entering into this partnership hoping imagining that one day i'm going to walk into my master bedroom and my man is making love to another woman i'm hoping that i enter into this relationship so it turns to be a disaster correct you're not doing it with that intention are you no no you're doing it with the intention that you're going to have a very happy great marriage together correct okay but does it always happen that way no and also then i have been acting from intention i'm thinking but well let's say you have the highest godly pure loving intentions but it doesn't go that way it, it went the other day now when you make those decisions to enter into this marriage union you used the highest level of intelligence available to you correct you're using all the information available to you in that moment whether it's feelings whether it's evidence that okay is a very sweet man it seems like he's very caring he's very loving he's got a very good job he's providing he's clean he doesn't look like he's kooky you know you're using all these information available to you to make that decision correct you're you're making the you're trying to make the best decision you can with the information available to you you can't make that decision with the stuff you don't know you do it with whatever it, you you know in that moment and your intention is that this is success now it turns to be a disaster now what happens in the human mind okay so it turns to be a disaster it just went sour and after five six years it just was hell and you're just going through this major divorce and major breakup and attorneys and a lot of money and you know you're hating each other and and you you know you can't stand the sight of each other and blah 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 and this happens every day in life but then you're sitting down here and blaming yourself and beating yourself up that oh my god i made such a bad mistake how stupid am i how could i make such a mistake why didn't i da, 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 da. how did I, didn't i see this monster and and but in the moment when you're made you're making your decision obviously you that other information wasn't available to you it wasn't there 